Sometimes the injuries are more severe and victims need to be transported to a larger medical facility for specialized treatment or emergency surgery. Maggie Long is standing by on the helipad talking with the flight nurse about his role in healthcare. Thank you, Jake. And now we're here with Dean Hankins, who is a transport nurse. Dean, can you tell us a little bit about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, we transport critically ill and injured patients either from the scene of a medical scene or a trauma or hospital to hospital to larger hospitals, basically, for specialty care. What was your career path? What did you have to do to get to this point? Well, I personally started off as a paramedic many years ago, and then I went into nursing. So I have degrees in nursing, and I maintain my paramedic license. And then you have to have five years of experience in critical care. Mine's basically in the emergency room and with the EMS background, and then lots of specialty certifications. Uniquely fit to do this position? I think I stay pretty calm when things get exciting so I can keep a level head and make decisions under pressure. I think that's probably important to this job. What is something you would recommend to a student who's interested in becoming a flight nurse? As soon as you can get into a hospital, work in critical care, get lots of experience in the ICU or emergency room or any specialty care area, and just take as many educational classes as you can. Get those specialty certifications like the pediatric and neonatal and advanced cardiac life support. And just, just keep doing it and stay up to date on everything. When things go to, together and you work as a team with your other team members, everything just kind of clicks with the patient and when you're done with that patient you know you really made a difference in their, their health care and their life basically. Alright, thank you Dean. Now back to you Jake. <laughs> 